What's going on guys, it's John from Behind the Diamond. Welcome back to my channel. All right, this is another pickup video. Uh, all this stuff I bought at the Elks Lodge baseball card show uh, in Queens, on Queens Boulevard. Uh, the Elks Lodge uh, baseball card show was run by uh, Vic and AJ. Uh, AJ, actually he sets up at my show. So I, I went, I supported him. It was a really good show. The Elks Lodge uh, baseball card show used to be a show there. There used to be a show there about 20 years ago. So AJ actually brought it back. There was 25 tables and actually dealers that I haven't seen in a long time and people that I haven't seen in a long time. That's actually my old stopping grounds. I used to live around there. I picked up a four row box off of somebody. I picked up some vintage, some rare stuff, some inserts that I like, just stuff that I haven't seen in a while that I just, that I wanted for my collection and also stuff that I wanted to flip. Somebody stopped me uh, and he gave me this Mickey Mantle card right here. Nice refractor Mickey Mantle. It's a reprint, 1952. Nice card. Uh, follow this guy on Instagram, Rich Moore Cards. Uh, I'll put it in in the video in the down below. All right, and uh, give him a follow. Really nice guy. Uh, speaking to him about sports for a few minutes. And uh, he gifted me this Mickey Mantle card because he knows I like the Yankees. So thanks a lot, Rich, for this card. Awesome. All right. So I bought a four-row four box of, you know, dollar cards up to $10 cards. I thought it was a really good deal. I'll tell you how much I paid for that. And like I said, two vintage cards during the week and a couple of stacks of cards. You know how I do. I'll tell you how much I paid for it, maybe how much I, I can get for it. And stuff like that and I got my sports illustrated magazines back that I paid a dollar each for I had them graded from uh, CGC and I'll show you guys the grades I got them a few days ago uh, I posted one of them on my on my Instagram page all right and it was five books I, I believe it's five books uh, and I bought them for a dollar each I'm only into them really for the grading and I'll tell you how much they're going to be and, and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. All right, let's go. All right, guys, we can start off with this uh, four-row box that I bought. Mainly baseball. I think it's almost all baseball. Uh, I bought this box for $80. A lot of dollar cards in here, a couple of dollar cards in here. This row, I already, I already sorted it out. This row here, I'll show you what I got in this row only. Everything else is probably 50 cents to a dollar. There's a couple of jersey cards up in here too that I that I didn't even pull. Some good stuff, maybe you know, like three bucks, four bucks and stuff like that. A lot of stars, a lot of rookies, Trouts, Otanis. All right, but I'm not going to show you all this. I'll just show you. I'll show you this row. Elston Howard. Game used bat. A Ken Griffey Jr. number card. Number to 400. An Acuna. Rookie. Another Bowman's Best. Rookie Acuna. This is pretty cool. Mike Piazza. Legends of, the, of Today. Number to 500. Just thought that was pretty cool. An Acuna rookie. Go label. A Paul Molitor. Bad Auto, number to 50. Arenado, top prospects of Bichette rookies. All the Bichette rookies here. A bench uh, number card. Bumgarner rookies. Walker Bueller. I have a Walker Bueller guy, so I'll probably sell the Walker Bueller to, the, to him. There's a bunch of Walker Buellers, a Walker Bueller Auto. Some numbered stuff. Refract the rookie there. Tops piece right there. So right here, I'll probably get about $25 for. So I'm only into this now for 55 bucks. All right, and I still got the whole box left. A Mike Piazza, Carlos Carreras. You got Molina in here. We got some pieces, Alonzo. We got some Jersey pieces that I, that I put in my boxes for about $2 each. A bunch of those. More Jersey stuff, a Gary card, a numbered card here. Some Met stuff, because I have a Met box that I usually bring. Wanda Franco rookies. This is pretty cool. Gallery of Heroes, Guerrero. 
a Randy Johnson, some Randy Johnson inserts from the 90s, some Griffey's, more jersey cards, can't go wrong with that. Warren Spahn, one of the best left-handed pitchers of all time. More jerseys, some rookies, atomic refractors. David Wright, some David Wright refractors that I'll put in my Met box. Numbered stuff, a Trey Turner there. Some more jerseys of Mike Schmidt. This is pretty cool. Piazza out of Metal Universe. Some numbered stuff out of Triple Threads. Some more jersey cards, Hall of Famers. Just pretty cool stuff. I mean, you can't, I mean, I couldn't turn it down for $80. Wanda Franco. There's some Otanis right there that I could put in a dollar box or a two dollar box. Bryce Harper's, Jordan Walker, and Ichiro Refractor. I love these type this type of stuff. Albert Pujols, Ichiro ticket stub right there. Pujol stuff, Posey, Posey stuff, and we got George Brett. We got a Griffey insert. Just, just really, really cool stuff. Eighty bucks. I showed you a couple of cards that I'm probably gonna get twenty five dollars for. So I'm into everything else for fifty five bucks. And there's probably over a thousand cards. Definitely over a thousand cards here. And even if I sell every card for 50 cents, I'm making money, even a quarter. I'm making money on it. Uh, and if I don't sell it, I keep it. It's all good, you know, and stuff like that. But this this actually beefs up my boxes, gives me fresh inventory for my baseball boxes. All right, so that's that. I'll uh, continue what I uh, bought at the, uh, at the Elks Lodge card show. Uh, these three stacks here. Uh, so I picked this up here. This is pretty cool. I picked it up. I picked this stuff up for $260. This is a Steve Garvey auto right there. An Andre Dawson auto. A David Wright jersey piece there that I could probably get about five bucks for. Sandy Koufax, 1961 PSA 4. And a 1956 Topps Hank Aaron Whiteback. SGC3. Crazy card. It's third year. $260. So I think I could probably get about $250 for this. I could probably get about $75 for this. And so that makes it $325 there. Five bucks for this. And then $10 each on these or maybe maybe twelve fifty or whatever it is, two for twenty five. All right, so that's thirty right there. So one eighty, seventy five. So I'll probably make, you know, maybe eighty to a hundred bucks on this lot. But I really wanted this Hank Aaron to add to my uh my vintage stuff. So it's that. So two hundred and sixty dollars for this lot. All right, over here. This lot here was uh seventy five dollars. Tim Duncan, EX, rookie. You see that nice yellow top loader, which I'm going to replace. It's kind of gross, but whatever. You know, this has been in somebody's box for a very long time. All right. O'Neal Cruz. I know he's hurt, but might as well pick him up. A Wade Boggs, Yankee piece jersey with the pinstripe. Scotty Pippen prism. Purple, number to 99. And Aaron Judge, rookie. Alvarez, rookie tops, gold, number to 2020. This is pretty cool. A row, uh, 1997 fla uh, Flash Showcase, Tim Duncan, row one, and an eight. And a gold medallion, rookie, and an eight. I got it, you know, Tim Duncan's one of the best players. What, probably top 10, top 12, top 12 that ever played the game. Uh, and I'm into these for really, like, I'll break it down, $75 for everything here. So this this goes between 35 and 40, and this goes for about 30. So right here, and then, you know, you add maybe the, the bogs, right here is retail $75. So I'm into everything else for nothing. 
The Pippin, off the top of my head, I don't really know what it goes for, but I'm thinking it's number to 99. It could be a surprise. It could be maybe 15, 20 bucks. The O'Neill Cruise is probably a $10 card. The Duncan EX has always been like $20, $25. This Row 1 in an 8 is probably about 40 bucks. And this uh, Gold Medallion is probably about 30 So that's $70 there. 90 Safe to say that I could probably make 100 bucks on this $75 investment. And I buy what I like, even though these these are eights and they may not be so desirable for people. Um, but it's Tim Duncan and it's Gold Medallion and it's Row One. So these are crazy, awesome cards for me. I, I love this type of stuff. So that lot was great. All right, this was the last lot that I bought. I picked this up for $130. This card I really wanted. I haven't had it in a while. Uh, Team Pinnacle, Ken Griffey Jr., a Machado Refractor, Julio Rodriguez, one of the Lava Refractors, number to 199. This is really cool. A Platinum uh, Medallion Edition, Manny, uh, Manny Ramirez, Flair Ultra, number to 50. 50 of 50. An Otani rookie, actually four of them. So right here, I think this card right here goes for about 40 bucks. And I'm sure these go for about $20 to $25 each. And I'm sure this is 10 So right here, I'll break it down. Right here, maybe about $100. And I'm into everything else for 30 A Kenny Pickett, number to $3.99. And Eli Manning, uh, short print, Topps Heritage. Just a bunch of rookies. This is pretty cool. Debo Samuel, uh, this is field level. Refractor, select rookie. Bunch of rookie, uh, rookies. Verlander, a Frank Thomas jersey piece, a Frank Thomas bat piece, an O'Neill scoring Kings. I love these inserts. Joe Mauer, Bowman rookie, a refractor of uh, Greg Maddox, a Kirby Puckett uh, SP. This is a cool card. 97 Flair Ultra, home run king, Mark McGuire, a Dwayne Wade rookie card. Malik Willis, number 249. A Kershaw jersey, a Machado uh, gold there, a Mike Trout international. There's that Tim Duncan again. I found two of them, which is which is crazy. Two of them in one show. Sometimes you don't even see these gold medallion. Another jersey card there of uh, Kershaw, a Joe Mauer Bowman Heritage, a Votto. This Votto card actually goes for about 30 bucks, I believe. I always collect Vince Carter because he's going to go in my collection. And a Carmelo Anthony piece right there. So I think I did really well. It was 130 bucks, And these Otanis are probably going to bring me back about 100 So I'm into everything else for 30 bucks. You can't go wrong with that. You're into everything like that. I mean, this card alone is probably like a $30 card. $20 card, $20 card, $30 card. And that's $25 card. And everything else is maybe on the under uh, 20 so. But just cool stuff. Cool stuff that I can move and I can just put in my boxes. Fresh inventory for everybody. All right. This card right here I picked up for $35. A Marilyn Monroe piece out of 2008 uh, threads. Uh, I picked this up from Fiera Sports. Joseph is an awesome guy. I always buy off of him. Uh... He always DMs me on stuff that he wants to wants to sell, and I, I buy stuff off of him all the time. Fiera Sports, make sure you follow him. Great card right there. Great piece. All right, these two I picked up off a buddy of mine uh, for $375. I thought it was a really, really good deal. Uh, this Hank Greenberg, 1941 Playball SGC2. Pretty good shape. The coloring is all right. You know, the corners obviously are a little messed up, but it's a Hank Greenberg. I could prop off the top of my head, I could probably get about 275 to 300 bucks for this. Steve Carlton, 1965 rookie in a PSA 6. Nice eye appeal there. The centering is not so bad, and it's a 6. So this is this is probably worth I don't know 
250 bucks, I would say. This is probably 250. This is probably like 275. So I got a really, really good deal. Uh, I think I can make about 150 to $200 off the top of this. But you know what? I think both of these cards are just going to go in my collection. I don't think I'm going to sell them because I got it for such a really good price. So those two cards are nice. All right. So I picked up these Sports Illustrated magazines. Uh, I bought a few of them. There was, I think, around 20 for a dollar each. And I decided to grade them because I, I grade comics. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just grade these books. Uh, so the, these are the five I, I wanted to grade. This one right here is a, a 7.5 Wayne Gretzky. It's been great. Sports Illustrated from 1999. Wayne Gretzky always sells. Uh, I think I can probably get about $120 for this book in a 7.5 white pages. I'm into this for just the grading. And the grading cost me $48. So I'm all in. Plus the dollar, I'm all in for $49. So... I think that's a pretty good investment there. Uh, I wanted to grade this because this is a uh, Hoaxter's uh, first uh, Sports Illustrated magazine there in a 5.0, 1985. I'm not a big Hulk Hogan fan, uh, but it is his first, and I just wanted to grade it. That's that. This is a pretty cool book, Christy Brinkley cover. Uh, because she was a staple in the Sports Illustrated magazines. Uh, big model back in the day. 7.5. Uh, I could probably get I could probably get about $120 for this book too. And the Hulk Hogan one, I could probably get about $250 for. This book, I definitely wanted to grade it. I don't care what grade it was. This is A Star Is Born, Sports Illustrated, 1984, Michael Jordan cover. Uh, one of his first covers. Uh, subscription edition 5.0 uh, this book goes for about $225 like I said I'm all in for $49 each and this was probably the best book out of them all uh, subscription edition 1983 Jordan Perkins cover number one North Carolina Sports Illustrated 6.5 uh, this book I could probably get about 300 maybe 350 bucks uh, there's a few few books up online on this, um, but it doesn't come up that often. Uh, Sports Illustrated uh, magazines that are graded low pops and stuff like I don't really know. I know it's low pops because I haven't seen them online. They're very limited online. Um, I don't know exactly how many are graded, but I, I would have to say it's it's below forty on this type on this on this book, especially on some of these other books. All right, so I picked up these. Pretty happy with the grades. Uh, it only took about seven weeks to get them back. Uh, again, investment-wise, you know, just say $50 a book. I'm all in on $250 right here, and I could probably get my money back just on this, and everything else would be free. That's how I like to, uh, and I, you know, then I really don't have to sell it either, but if I want to, I make money on it. All right, so... That's how I like to buy. I like to buy in bulk. I like to buy stuff that I like. Uh, and it's not all about the money, but, you know, sometimes you want to sell some stuff. So you don't want to, you know, you don't want to, you want to make the right investments. Uh, and if you like what you collect and you enjoy it, that's all good. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I always like doing these pickup videos. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you next time. Peace out, guys.